guys, it's Beverly. Okay, this is our infinite, and you guys can correct me later, our balcony, infinite veranda. <laughs> so, I decided to do a little crochet time. I'm working on the market bag from the crochet crowd. It's in gray, hopefully you guys can see it good. And it really has a story. <laughs> I decided to, there was five different market bags. And I had seen this pattern, and I'll show you the pattern. It's by Jeannie Stein Dover from the Crochet Crowd, and she designed it in, in 2021. And it's, I'll show it to you up closer later. And um, there was one other girl besides me. It's called the Modern Granny Boho Bag. But I decided that I didn't want it to be so flashy. I wanted it in a nice gray color. And I'm using the Kieran Cotton Blend Cake in the gray. And what this is, is it's 50% cotton and 50% polyester. And um, the original pattern, I think, calls for cotton, kitchen cotton, kitchen cotton. Um, no, it calls for Karen Cotton Cake. And the color this was done in was Holly Hawk. But it, they, this color is no longer available. But I'm using the Kieran. Um, no, I'm using the Lion Brand Cotton Blend. That's 50 polyester and 50 cotton. I had quite a bit of problem with this pattern. And I'm not going to go into the details <laughs> of what happened with it. But there was only one other woman that was doing it. And... There was a lot of problems narrowing down the correct way so that it would start this chevron pattern, which I hope you guys can see. So there's quite a bit of problems with this pattern. So if you guys decide to make this, please contact me and I will give you the scoop. But the pattern, you know, it, it's not really written in my fashion, <laughs> but through trial and error, and I tell you, I frogged this thing like three times, but I finally got it, and I'm on the last row of this repeat, and then I'm going to get ready to do the handles. The handles, you, it goes like this together, and then you put the handles on it. And I just think it's going to make a really cool purse. Okay, so I'm going to tell you some about my cruise. Okay, so today is Thursday. So we're on our way back from St. Kitts and St. Thomas. Tomorrow we'll have... Uh, a day in Nassau. Now, I we didn't get off the ship in St. Kitts or St. Thomas because we've been there, you know. And I just and my husband wasn't enthused about getting off, so we didn't get off. And plus, in St. Thomas, if you've been to St. Thomas, um, they've changed it. The larger ship, which is the Apex and the Oasis, they have dredged out the area for the larger ships down at the shipping port section. So apparently they must have the cruise ship, smaller cruise ship port, and then the working shipping port 
and that's where we had to be. So that means you have to, it used to be you get off the, off the ship and you would be right there in the town and I used to go shopping. I used to go to St. Thomas and every time I went, I bought a pair of shoes. The first time I went to St. Thomas, I had stubbed my toe and my foot had swollen and blah, blah, blah. So I needed a looser show, a shoe. So I went to pay less there. And I got a real nice pair of shoes and they were black and they were a little plush. And I ended up using them for um, the chic night is what they call it now instead of the formal night. So that was cool. Then the second time I went, I got a pair of Crocs in kind of like an animal print, and they're just real cute for, you know, rainy days and stuff. So that's what, if, if I would have got off that, I wouldn't have had to do the tradition and go to the pay bus and get a pair of shoes. <laughs> but this time, like I said, we, port, we docked at the working port. And from the working port to the town, it's like a mile and a half, so you have to take some kind of shuttle or excursion or whatever to get into town. So we weren't all that enthused, so we stayed on ship. And St. Kit, we had been there before, and we were there, I think, on um, maybe Monday. But again, we didn't get off the ship. So... Tomorrow will be Nassau, and I'm not sure whether we're going to get off, but if we go to Nassau, we always like to go take a cab and go to the Atlantis Casino, but I don't know that you can do that. But the La Atlantis Casino is very nice, and there's lots of pretty uh, gardens and seeing the boats that are docked at the hotel up is always really cool. Okay, now as far as the cruise, uh, the cruise we got on the ship Saturday. And Saturday at 3.30, a bunch of us newbies, meaning new or first time crochet cruise um, cruisers, got to go to the room where the yarn was being distributed and open boxes. And it was a little a work. It was a workout. But it was fun to see all the yarn before and who knows. And we got some notions like tape measures and some Susan Bates crochet books. And um, then we got yarn. So it was sponsored by Yarn Inspiration. So all of the yarn is Yarn Inspiration uh, brand names. Gotta make sure I don't make mistakes. And um, so there was Karen Simply Soft, and that was my station with uh, someone named Deborah that I met on the cruise, and her and I passed out the Karen Simply Soft, which I'm not a fan. You guys know that. So I didn't really take any, but there was plenty of other yarns. Okay, so we had the Pur Burnett um, blanket yarn in the Oko. We had the Red Heart Oko's in multicolors and solids. There was tons of those, and then they had some Red Heart roll with it. And they had the roll with it in sparkles and different shades. And I traded my sparkles. And then they were in cakes. And then we got um, Burnett Forever Fleece. And I really do like the texture of it. It's a number six, so it'll work up fast. But I think I like it much better. It's so soft, you guys. I think I like it much better than I do the Burnett blanket yarn. But the Burnett blanket yarn was distributed so that they could make Ollie the Owl. And a lot of the ladies made 
um, what I want. Then the care I said we sought, the majority of the yarn was in yellow or lemon, lemonade so that people could make their little yellow duckies. So they, a lot of people made those and then they learned how to make clothes for their duckies <laughs> or outfits. Then, uh, let's see what else Sharon got. Oh, they got the Red Heart Pooling. So they had some classes on pooling, which I think I'm going to try that uh, with one of Mikey's videos. I didn't do that. I just got hung up on this market bag, and I really wanted to find out how to do it so that I could pl complete it on the ship. Then I learned, uh, or I had a class in the, as you can see the sun is going in and out. I took a class in the corner to corner in the room, and I was using a Red Heart Ogo and I was color controlling. And that's coming up good, but again, I wanted to stop and do the market bag is what I'm doing. I took a sock class. They gave us some Peyton's um, sock yarn. We'll be seeing that later. And I took some larger knitting needles and some four-weight worsted yarn so that I could you know, see the work a little bit better. And I found out that what I'm not doing with my heel, because I always end up a, heel, a hole on one side of my heel or the other, which would be, you know, like that up here by your ankle. And I found out that I'm not holding my thread taut enough. I don't have my tension tight enough because I did it again. I made the sock here and had the hole in the same place I always have it. And I could figure out why. So that was the point of it, you know, because the sock that I was making was a baby pattern, but it probably would have fit a baby elephant <laughs> because I really wanted to make it bigger, you know. Um, it called, the pattern called for 20 stitches and I cast on 50 because I really wanted to see what I was doing wrong. And I did, I figured it out. So I didn't make a pair of socks on this trip, but I know where I'm at with it. I didn't make a pair of socks. So I think those were the three things. This market bag, the socks, and the corner to corner in the round. Um, Mikey has a book out and from the Crochet Crowd. You can get it on Amazon if you're interested. But I was able to get Mikey and Dan to sign my book. So that was pretty cool. And each, each day they had a schedule that you would pull up on the Crochet Friends Forever page, um, Facebook page, and then it would tell you, you know, at 7 o'clock they'd be out on the walking track. Not me. 7 o'clock they were doing um, aerobics. Not me. And then at 10 o'clock they would have classes and they call them breakaways and so I went you know that's when I went for the in the round and the market band and then they would have um, group crochets you know you just show up together and swap stitch markers. I'm so glad 
that I had stitch markers that Sue had made me because I would have felt bad not having anything to um, trade. Okay, so let's see. I'm on row 28. So slip stitch, and I'm supposed to do three single crochets in the chain one space. And those of you that just stopped by for a visit, I'm so thankful for you. But go ahead and subscribe. What have you got to lose? It helps the channel. And it doesn't cost you anything. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more. So that's kind of what's been going on. And I just wanted to fill you in. So, talk to you guys later. Love you, bye.